In this video, we're going to look at how to add managers and users. To get started, we want to go over to the left side of the panel, click on Users, then click on Add New Users. The first thing to understand is that we have three types of users. We have the main supervisor, who is always the person who initiated the account. Then we have the location supervisors and operators. The main supervisor has access to all reports, all information, all analytics, and includes all of the billing information. The location supervisor only has access and permissions for everything related to that person's location. They do not have any billing access, of course. Finally, the operators are not meant to log in here. They use the app on the device to fill out all inspections and reports once they are synced to the supervisor dashboard. Let's start off and we're going to add a location supervisor. We'll just create an account here by entering an email address and then enter a phone number. The location we're going to choose is Buffalo. This is a location supervisor. Supervisors generally don't have an operator's license renewal date that they need to be concerned with, so we'll just delete that. Then we'll simply click Invite User for an email to be sent out to this location supervisor. We click on that and we see Success, User Invite has been emailed. You'll follow the same process with an operator, so the operator's name, email address, phone number, location, and operator role. Then you will probably want to enter what that operator's license renewal date is so you can set up a notification to receive a reminder for that operator. Once the user invitations have been sent out, the local supervisor or operator will receive an email asking them to accept the invitation as part of the syncing process. They'll enter a password no less than eight digits long and click on Accept Invitation. At this point, the operator will download the app so that the operator can start doing inspections. The supervisor can do that as well, but it's unlikely that the supervisor will be doing inspections. Instead, typically what a location supervisor will do is go to the mastercheckapp.com website to log in. Find the login page and enter his email address and password. Once he logs in, he'll have full access to his dashboard. For the operator to complete the process, he simply clicks on the App Store or Google Play links, downloads the app, then opens the app. From here, he'll enter his email and the password he already created. Then, he'll open the app and start doing inspections. Once he starts doing inspections, he'll see that locations, departments, truck numbers, and hour meter readings are already set up for him to start his inspections. Now that we've connected our supervisors and our operators, we can go to Manage Users. Here, we'll find a list of all supervisors and operators. They can be sorted by location or they can be viewed by every location. We can sort by name, user ID, anything you like here by role. Here, we'll see that this supervisor is pending and that's because he has not yet replied to the email that we sent out to him. So he has not yet accepted the invitation. But once that invitation is accepted, then that individual will appear as active. From here, we can send a private message to that user or we can edit that user. By editing, we can move them to a different location if we want. We can change a phone number. We can edit the role. Perhaps an operator has become a location supervisor by promotion or whatever it is, or we can add that operator's license renewal date if we choose. We can also delete an operator or a supervisor by simply clicking on the trash can. But all of their inspections that they've had in the past will remain. Last thing we can do is also send a mass notification to all users in case we want to make an announcement, a safety announcement, or an announce meeting, whatever you would like to use it for. That's how to add supervisors and operators to the supervisor dashboard. 
Should you have any questions or need assistance with anything, please do not hesitate to contact us at customerservicemastercheckapp.com or give us a call.